Hello everyone, and welcome to Detroit Become Human. I'm Barry. Hello. I hope you're doing well. What would you like to do today? <sighs> so, you probably see a continue button. That is because I was playing an hour of this and didn't realize the record button wasn't on. Yeah. Damn it. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and start a new story. <laughs> Shit. Options. This is the options section. You can customize your experience here. You know, that's great. Your parameters have been saved. Wow, your face fell quick. New story. So, when I play these games, I, I'm not nice. I'm not. I'm mean. I'm very mean. <laughs> I am very vindictive. So, um, I'm gonna do this part again. But this time it's recording. Yay! Pick up the fishy. All right, fish face. Move, bitch. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You. Ah, uh, you Why did. You're sending a real person. Because they suck. Sack it, Nick. Ah, shit. The hell up, please. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. All right, Mr. Small Penis. Captain Allen, my name is Khan. Captain Dick the Breath. Sent by Cyberlife. Cyberlife, what a screwed up name. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Too bad. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Really? Because isn't that why I'm here in the first place, you son of a bitch? Because you couldn't take care of it? Suck a dick. Yeah, little lollipop. <sighs> okay. So, be gone. I get it. Mm-hmm. So, he was a jerk. Whoops.
music is terrible. That music is absolutely terrible. Get the dead guy. I ain't finished yet. Fool. Okay. Yeah, you got shot. And you got shot again. Mm hmm. And you were shot again. And you are super dead. Spend a buttload of cash. Bueno, when you get shot in the heart, that kind of ends things. Alright. Batman style! Or Superman style, whatever. Got the guy. Wait, wait. I don't know. No, no. Some bitch. Yeah, I didn't stop well in that mess. Alright, going in. <sighs> Strike two hundred and thirty seven and eight. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. Kill the shit of you, sir. You shot me. You don't shoot me. Hi, Daniel. Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. I just want to talk and 
find a solution. Talk! I don't want to talk! It's too late for that now. It's too late. Are you armed? No. no. I don't have a gun. You're lying! I know you have a gun! I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. Well, you know. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet! Don't touch him! Touch him and I kill you! Mm, fuck off. You can't kill me! I'm not alive! Daniel, there's Oops. a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working <laughs> perfectly, but my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Thanks, Ever. camera. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never mm. wanted this. Mm. I love them, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Whatever, asshole. to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Uh, take that motherfucker out. To me, Connor. Yep. You lied to me. Yep. Yep. Suck it. Quit your whining. Yeah. I... By the way, I did what you couldn't, sir. Uh, just so you know. Uh huh. Yeah, last time I shot him. <laughs> but because I didn't hit the record button.
This is the top of the range house hold assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? Oh, yeah. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for all the work around the house painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode, it contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Very pretty. He just bought a person. I mean, wow. I lost my job because of an android. No, you lost your job because the company that you work for decided to choose to hire an android rather than you. You need to take that up with the company, not the android. Funny how people don't think about the person who actually makes the decision and just blame it on the person that they were replaced with. <sighs> Critical thinking was never a strong suit. Dude, let's go. Come on. Would you like to go home now? Yes, Rufus. Yes, I think that's enough. Here. And they're, it's, they're like... It reminds me a little bit of Titanic, where you had all the servants, and they did everything that you wanted them to do. And, yeah. Of a little boo boo. We shall have to explain our acts of idolatry. We built these androids to be our slaves, but the slaves are becoming our master. Wait, dude, do you hear how that sound is so screwed up? Alright, let's get our paint. 
out of this creepy store. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Dude, smile. Good lord. Boso home. Move, bitch. Alright, let's see if I can I give you anything? Sorry, I came back, I tried. Machines, ladies and gentlemen, are meant to serve us. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out, we got one of those tin cans here. This little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. <sighs> okay. You job stealer! Take us out of here! Yeah! You deserve it! We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! All right, it's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Uh, what? Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Fine. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go, run along. Say like Jim Crow for androids. I mean, really. Why didn't he hit somebody, man? Because they probably would have deactivated him. Well done so far, Quantic Dream. Heavy rain. Oh, I wasn't too fond of heavy rain because of. I'm not a particularly. F I don't really like kids all that much, so I do. I like kids. They're all right, but that kid didn't listen, so I didn't like him, so I didn't really feel sorry for him. So heavy, heavy rain was all right. <laughs> um, Beyond Two Souls was awesome. Awesome. I really wish they would have made that demo that they made with the talking troll and the old man as the wizard. You gotta watch that, that's pretty funny. Hey, talk about burnt. This 
This man parked on the sidewalk. Can't open a door for a lady. You're a dick. You coming? What is Shut the hell up, boy? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. I don't know why you would mistreat such an amazing creation. I'll bring it tomorrow. Computers are awesome. Yeah, thank you. And they're like... Right. Sentient computers. I don't know why you'd be mean to them. That's stupid. Very stupid, especially since they're smarter, faster, and far more capable than you could ever be. TV on. Oh, I have said that she's not gonna respect it. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Get your fat fucking ass... Okay. What a pig. You, did, you, did you really honestly order pizza every single night? wearing those clothes. Like, you'd have to wear something else. Something normal. This man parked on the- he parked on the sidewalk. What an asshole. <laughs> Fuck, man. I 
made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Oh, the fuck? There you go. What's wrong with this guy? Oops. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. No, oh, so we're just, we're just gonna leave the book on the floor. Okay, all right. Oh. Okay. Why are we just leaving it on the floor when we could pick it up? Both y'all nasty. Leave the water in there. Do I need to? Hmm. 
I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Child, do you speak? Doesn't look good. That is no bueno. Let's go this way. Fucking pig. That's a low life. Huh? Mm -hmm. Fucking loser. Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. get a job. Take care of his family. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Yep. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. You hate You're a piece me. shit. You hate yep. me, don't you? Yep. Say it. You hate me. Yep. I hate your guts, you fat piece of shit. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. <laughs> yeah, that ain't cool. At all. Right. Everything looks like those little BMW cars. <laughs>
somebody's got some serious cash. Yeah, too much cash. No? Uh, 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 uh. Where the hell? Uh... Yep. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Every day. I did go to pick Every up day the is a good day to spend in bed. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I wonder what happens if you uh, <laughs> release those buttons. Do you drop them? <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible. That is a freaky cat. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery sure director left happens. four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from <laughs> Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it took me like forever the first time around. It would have been funnier had I hit the record button. But alright. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Always check for the record button.
Thank you, Marcus. Television. Oops. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. He's your daddy. Yeah, there we go. Dude, I would like seriously be in awe of this one. <laughs> entire mansion. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. This am I supposed to do? Oops. Is it is it clean? Ah. What's your verdict, Marcus? Just like a person, I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <laughs> Uh, we can pay that, we can pay 
paint there. Let's paint the. Well, I did. That is a perfect copy of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Try that canvas. Step outside the program, son. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Let's see. We'll do identity. We'll do despair. Fantastic. Oh my god. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. <laughs> the answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Me. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You're a fuck up. You never loved me. You're a fuck up. But then that's hard. The painter. All right. Detroit rules. Way. Connor. <laughs> He's always got to adjust the tie.
My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot. Okay, you're a piece of shit. Out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. Do you know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders the technology. Make it a double. Now being nice. Get your ass up, prick. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Yeah, please don't push my buttons. Uh. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I'll follow you. Uh... Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. You mean he, you prick? You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. But worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd Damn. say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. 
The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay. Red ice. Too neat. No human rights like this. Oh, that hell, oh, dude. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. It's kind of disgusting, so... <laughs> Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. He like whorehouses, did he? Our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Get some. Asshole deserves it. Do you mind, sir? Seriously? Let's go take a look at Fat Boy. What's keeping the car? He 
Should have been here in a half hour. That's, that's, that's nightmare fuel. 28. Damn. Okay, dude, yeah, I get your piss, but uh, that's like overkill. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah, seems like the killer really had it in for him. Okay, what does that say? I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the victim with the knife okay your theory is not totally ridiculous but it doesn't tell us where the Android went it was damaged by the bat and lost some therium lost some what therium you call it blue blood it's the fluid that powers Android's bio components it evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Connor, my baby. He's so cute. All right. Where is it? Okay, wait, 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 what? Well, yeah, that's where I'm headed. Shut up. Well, it's raining, that might, uh... Door 
door's locked from the inside. Could have must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Why does my toe hurt so much? Ow, 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 ow. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. shit. <sighs> okay. I saw red. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, you scared the piss out of me. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? <sighs> it's here, Lieutenant! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. He kind of did kill the shit out of him. <laughs> Scared the poop out of me. <laughs> I mean, the poop. Uh oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! Wow. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Uh, oh no. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Oh no. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't You're good a piece enough. Of for shit. Her. Okay. Uh, remember, I know where your gun is.
expect? Daddy's very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson. Come on, girlfriend. Let's get that piece. Come on. Let's go, girl. Move your ass. I well, if you would allow me to. That's enough. Leave her alone. I will pull this trigger. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean mm. you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna oh, I'll pull this guy? trigger. Yes, yes. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Watch out, Kara! Come here, bitch. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Did we shoot the motherfucker? Go, girl. You go, girl. 
I'm so proud of my baby! This is awesome. <laughs> BMW. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Nah, nah, nah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. In here? Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Uh... What does neat mean? Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Dude. This is not smart. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Mm. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Uh, stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I'm sorry. Right, I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Cause you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Okay. That's your free one. Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't 
Don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? What? have a freebie. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You would always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Show them how to do it properly, Connor. Head, big old nose, no. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Oh, you don't care. <laughs> Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Uh oh. I'm trying to help, sir. I'm here. That's probably not going. But you've got to trust me. 
All I want is to get you out of here. Okay, this isn't working. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? want to understand they know your master abused you it wasn't your fault why did you tell him you found me because I, I had to left me there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished my mission I don't want to die then talk to I... I can't. Uh. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you Probably. feel anger? That's not what I... Hate? He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again and again and again. Please. Oops. Please leave. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Wait, I... I, I... You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, he likes force, I guess. He tortured me every day. Connor. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. I am alive on the wall. He used Excellent to tell me question. I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write. Fucked up thing to say. To tell him he was wrong. Honey. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Okay. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? 
to RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Excellent question. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt yeah. anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. again. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Put it down, you suck fuck. I gotta get away with you this time. Now suck his droidy balls. <laughs> Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Be good. The truth is inside. Like seriously, dude, be good because my my ass is on the line now. <laughs> I am probably not gonna go to bed till I don't know four or five o'clock in the morning. This is awesome. <laughs> what happened to Marcus?
Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. spend the night. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Oh girl, what are you doing? Get your ass across this. Human, let's go. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Hey, lost. You can go. I know someone who can help you. place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Let's try something else. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be nice. No, no, no. Ugh. Um. Is there anything else that I could do? That's really my only option is a shoplift.
Well, I don't know, man. They can see me with the cookies. Sorry. Wait outside for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? But why? Please. have no choice. Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter. Open the register. Put the cash on the counter. Dude, today I ain't got all night. You better get out of here before things get nasty. You see that little girl outside? Her name is Alice. She's nine years old, and this is the worst night of her life. All I need is a few dollars so we can find a place for tonight. And I'm not leaving without that money. Now? Wait, how did you get it? I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. <laughs> 